The total energy of the electron is the sum of its potential energy and kinetic energy in its orbits. The potential energy of the electron in the nth orbit is given by Ep is equal to z into e into minus e divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into Rn. So which indicates minus z into e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into Rn. The kinetic energy of the electron in the nth orbit is equal to half mvn square. So from equation 3 which is your 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 4 zt square divided by rn square is equal to mvn square by rn. Substituting the equation 13 in 12 you got ek is equal to half into mvn which is nothing but mvn is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into zt rn so which is equivalent to ze square into 8 pi epsilon naught into rn that's your kinetic energy the total energy of the electron in the nth orbit is calculated by adding the potential energy and the kinetic energy so Substituting the value of potential energy and the kinetic energy, you got the total energy as minus z t square divided by 8 pi epsilon naught into rn. Where rn is equal to n square h square epsilon naught by 4 pi, sorry, pi into m e square. Putting this value of 10, the uh, value of 10 in 15, you got the total energy as minus z square m e power 4 divided by 8 pi epsilon naught square n square h square. So calculating for hydrogen atom is equal to 1, the energy, the total energy is minus m e power 4 8 pi 8 epsilon naught into square into n square h square. Substituting the known values and calculating electron volt, we got the value as total energy is minus 13.6 by n square ev so one electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 joules there is a negative sign in equation 17 here it is seen that the energy of electron in its orbit increases as n increases